It's super easy to write an operating system to a Raspberry Pi thanks to Raspberry Pi Imager. All of the boards that they've ever made are supported. If you haven't got a Raspberry Pi, you've got some other single board computer. This is an Orange Pi 5 and I wonder if you can guess what this one is. I reviewed it quite a while ago now. Well, thanks to some new software from Ambient, which supports over 300 boards and also TV boxes and other computers, we have Ambient Imager. Now this works on Mac OS, it also works on Linux, and it also works on Windows. So let's have a look and see how easy it is to install and how it works. So let's first try it on Windows. This is the Corebook Air from Chewy and it's excellent. I'm reviewing it at the moment. So let's open the browser and do a search for Ambient Imager GitHub. Ambient Imager is the official tool for downloading and flashing Ambient OS images to a single board computers. It focuses on safe and reliable flashing of Ambient images. Support for 300 plus boards with smart filtering and board aware metadata. Disk safety checks, checksum validation and post write verification. Native cross platform builds for Linux, Windows and Mac OS. And it even supports uh, x64 and ARM. Multi-language UI, automatic application updates. So let's download the version for Windows. Okay, show all assets. And we're looking for x64 setup. So it looks like there's a, a Windows ARM version as well as a Mac version and same with Linux. So let's launch the Windows one or download it. So we're going to say keep and keep anyway. And let's open that up and install. And let's run that. And yes, let's get rid of all this. So this looks nice and simple. So choose brand. So orange. Yeah, orange pie comes up. What happens if we put in Raspberry Pi? One board. It did say that in one of the write-ups. That it only chooses one board. But I'm going to do this for orange pie. Yeah, look how much comes up. All the Mechatronics are on there as well. Banana Pi, Amlogic. Asus, all sorts of things in there. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to go for the Orange Pi 5 image. Choose board, because with ARM it needs to be a specific download. So you can see Orange Pi 5 standard. So let's just go with the Orange Pi 5 operating system. Ah, so we've got all the different versions here. Look. So it goes back to Debian Bookworm. And you can see these are the one with the command line, so the very small downloads. We've got a GNOME version here, XFCE version. No KDE version there. So this is one of the latest versions with a desktop environment, so let's go with that. Choose storage. Let's plug an SD card into my adapter. And that's detected the device. So let's pick that device. Erase and flash. All data will be permanently erased. I like the look of it. It's, it's really nicely done. Looks like it's downloading pretty quick on my Wi-Fi. I almost felt like it was too quick, so I'm a little bit worried that I didn't do the one with the graphical user interface, but I can't see for now. So decompressing. And I've got a little notification here why your Wi-Fi is so slow. What's that? Is that advertising? If I tap on it, testing the devices. Oh, it just takes you to the Ambient docs. And we'll come back when that's all done. And it was just doing verification, and then I got an error occurred. So I'm going to retry it. And it looks like it's downloading again, so it doesn't seem to cache the image like Raspberry Pi Imager. So if you're doing multiple copies of an operating system, Raspberry Pi Imager seems to hold on to it. Okay, so it worked fine that time. That's good. And we get the option to flash another. So we'll hit done. And we do have custom image here as well. So this will search your drive and your downloads folder if you've got anything in there. And we also have this cog, which we can change the theme, light, dark, or auto, language, advanced. We've got a developer mode to enable verbose logging and debug information and view logs and about. So this is version 1.2.4. 
Yeah, very nice. Let's have a look at the Mac version to see if it's the same. Yeah, it appears to look the same. So obviously that's going to bring up the Mac interface and settings here. And which version is this? 1.2.4 and this is the ARM64 version. If we have another look at those brands. Yeah, Caddis is on here. I've reviewed some of their boards in the past. Oh, that generic rock chip. It's crazy how many devices there are. And here's some of the TV boxes I was talking about. So you can replace the operating system sometimes. I've got one of these as well, a Station M3. So let's have a look at the Linux version. I'm sure it's the same. I'm going to use the image that I've just written and put it on this Orange Pi 5. Now my SD card slot doesn't work properly, so I have to stick a match in to hold it in place. But, you know, it works. Okay, that's booting up all right. So let's follow the setup procedure. So bash. Now starting desktop environment. You only have to do that first time. And the great thing about the Linux with Ambien is it's super compatible. It's based on Debian and it seems to just work with everything. Whereas I found with other single board computers, not the Raspberry Pi, but other single board computers, sometimes their version of Linux is pretty bad. And so I'm always happy when an Ambien version comes out because you've got more stability and much more compatible. And you get things like Ambient Config to be able to configure the device. And this is on an old SD card and it's still nice and snappy. And you can see we can change and access various different things in here and install different software as well, like a VPN, printing software and so on. I've got separate videos on Ambient. So let's see, is the imager in here? That'd be great if it was in here. Or is it already installed? Even better. So if I do imager, okay, so it's not installed in this version. And I don't think it's in here. Obviously it will be at some point, it's just early days, I guess. Come back to that GitHub. And let's download the ARM64 version for Linux. We've got Windows snapping with this, we have. So we've got ARM64.deb. Let's try that one. So that's downloaded and I've also updated the system as well. So let's try and install it. An older version is available in the software channel. All right. So it's called Ambient Imager. Okay, let's have a look. sudo apt install ambient imager. Oh yeah, there it is. So this is version 1.22. And I downloaded 1.24. We'll see what the older version looks like. Okay, let's see if we've got an icon for it. There it is. Yeah, it looks the same. So we've got the same configuration as we had before. And this should say, yeah, ARM64, and this is the 1.2.2. So does this update it? Let's give that a try. Install package. So it says was installed. Let's launch that again. And is this the latest version? It is. Perfect. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Great work by everybody at Ambien. I'll definitely be using this in the future. Hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.